are just getting started with Pokemon Go, we've got some tips to help you gain points, power, <laughs> and safety. Points and power I don't know about. <laughs> safety seems very important. <laughs> Technology <laughs> consultant Francie Black is here with some answers about what's really a wildly popular app. Crazily popular. Yes. Yeah, it, it's wild. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to do a quick intro. I'm going to give you some tips sure. along the way, and then we're going to talk about some safety things. But Pokemon Go is what's considered as an augmented reality Okay. Game. And what that means, if you don't know, is that it takes real world elements, so neighborhoods, streets, buildings, and it lays over virtual characters. So in this case, Pokemon. So this is actually a real street drawn out in Asheville, um, Pokemon characters, and this is me. And you get out of your house and you start walking around and you try and catch these little Pokemon characters. Okay. <laughs> and um, you get points, of course, and power when you get these. And so what in order to catch these, you have to have something called Pokeballs. So it has its own language here. <laughs> and in order to get these Pokeballs, you go, and sometimes they're in your neighborhood, but sometimes you need to travel out. So you might have to go to a church, to a, um, to a library. Jay had to go to Bricks this morning <laughs> to find a Pokemon. <laughs> I was to find a half a mile through yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, now to find these, um, these powers. Balls. Yeah, the balls at, okay. the power, at the Poke spots, that's all this language. Um, you go to like libraries, churches, things like that, okay. public spaces, monuments. And uh, I'm just gonna give you a little example here. So this is live. So you tap on it and then it zooms in and then you spin. This is at Inca Baptist Church. And then you swipe it and you get some pokey balls. You collect them and gives you points, and now you can go out and collect more Pokemon characters. Gotcha. <laughs> this is good, this is good, yes. I think all of us were wondering about this who haven't played. So. That's right, so, and, the, and I actually had, my neighbor actually was asking me about this last night, so. <laughs> Um, one of the things um, that you can do is you can see also what's nearby. So if you tap on this out to the side when you're out walking around, it will show you various characters. The ones with the more steps mean that they're further away. So a little tip here, the ones that have fewer steps or no steps means they're very close by, so go for those. The ones with the green circles mean that they're easy and to, easier to catch, and then the ones with the red circles around them mean they're harder to catch. Okay, so. Back on security, I did want to mention this, and I actually forgot to. When I was over here catching this Pokemon, this is actually my neighbor's driveway. Okay, mm. So one of the things I want to point out is as kids, make sure you tell your kids, don't go into somebody else's yard. I'm like halfway into the neighbor's yard. She comes out and says, what are you doing? <laughs> now, fortunately, she knew me. Right. So it was but you could see where that would be a security concern. People don't know who these, who these random strangers are all the, on their lawn. That's exactly yeah. right. So you want to be very, very careful about that. Now, lastly, as I get into this, just, you know, you want to look for these... Um, as you gain points and power, you get into these gyms, and this gives you extra power, and you get, you become a master, essentially, is what happens. So, a couple of tips here. First of all, on the tech side, our servers are experiencing issues. Be very aware <laughs> that there is millions of people that are jumping onto this. Right. And so it is not always working correctly. If it doesn't look like it's working for you, like I showed here, it's not you, it's it's really their servers. Sure. A um, couple of tips. Um, make sure that you, um, you're you in safe places. Don't go in people's yards like mm -hmm. we talked about. There's things that are showing up in places maybe where they shouldn't be, like Holocaust museums, things like that. Okay. And they're asking, actually trying to remove some of those off of here. So, and be in public. Don't go into private places. Um, there's been some incidents already. So make sure you tell your kids, don't go into public places. And then also when you're downloading these, make sure that you're downloading directly from the app stores. I have the link on my website. Um, download from, um, from the app stores. There's gonna be a whole bunch of third party apps that are gonna be coming out to support this chats and things like that. They will introduce malware. Very serious for kids. You don't want to have identity theft, things like that. Thank you so much, Francie. This has yes. been so helpful. Yes. If folks are interested in getting yes. this information or your e-newsletter. Yes, yeah, I can't blow this up. I made a mistake here. But anyhow, iPadWisdom.com. Go to my website, uh, info, or you can sit. Go to iPadWisdom.com for all this information, a lot more. Shoot me an email if you want to subscribe to the uh, monthly Tech Tips newsletter. All right.